Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a quick one for you today. A couple of unboxings for you on two new Fragrenza perfumes. These are the boxes in the cellophane and we've got one called Love Whisper and one called Sensual Flame. Now, I haven't looked these up specifically because I didn't want to be influenced, so I'm gonna smell them with you on camera first, but I happen to know that they are, they were in the process of making a rolling in love by Killian Clone because they actually got in touch with me and said that they were inspired by, I mentioned rolling in love in a video and I'd inspired them to make a, a copy of it. My suspicion then is that that is this love whisper, but we shall see. So shall we start with that one? I'm just gonna undo it here we'll get the cellophane off chuck it on the floor clean it up later they usually all the boxes are the same with fragrenza you sort of have a box within a box so i'm sure that will be the case here oh dear i've ripped it you've yeah, ripped it again okay right here we are and then we have a box within the box. So we'll take that one out. And now it's wrapped in some protective sort of like foam stuff. And there we have it, Fragrenza Love Whisper. And oh my God. <laughs> expecting that okay I don't know if this is gonna is this is that me I'm, I'm not even joking I think that's me they said I inspired them to um, to make the video I don't know if that's is that me I think that's me isn't it there's there's that's my face on on a perfume box <laughs> that is me isn't it it is Oh my god, Fragrenza. <laughs> wow, um, I don't know if, <laughs> if you've just done that for my bottle or, um, or if it's going to be on all of them, but I'm, I'm quite blown away. So I'm really pleased I filmed this uh, first impressions because that is such a lovely, uh, such a nice surprise. My face on a perfume bottle, never ever seen that before. So thank you. <laughs> so let's see how it smells I'm clean I'm fresh out the shower I'm about to start a night shift actually so I need to hurry up and let's try love whisper and unfortunately I have uh, I used up all my sample of Killian's rolling in love because I only had a little bit and I needed to use it all to try and do a decent review of it so I can't compare, I can keep looking at it, it's my face. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> so straight away I'm getting like an almond biscotti, which I'm pretty sure I got from Rolling in Love. Yeah, gorgeous almond biscotti. It reminds me of ganache parfums have a, bis uh, a biscuit scent but it's not as heavy, like that's really full on, rich, rich, rich biscuit. This is, this is a lighter almond biscuit, musky, with a little hint of floral. I think Rolling in Love is a tuberose fragrance. I wouldn't say I pick out tuberose at the moment, just a hint of a white floral accent. It's really pretty. It's, got, it's really pretty and it's got my face on it. <laughs> yeah, I can now, I'm getting more of the florals coming through now. I'm really, so far, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm, you're gonna expect me to be prejudiced now because they've put my face on the bottle and they told me they were inspired to make it by my review. 
But I swear on Sweetie's life, who's sitting down there, you might hear her snorting as she cleans herself. I swear on her life, this smells really good. Obviously, it needs time to develop. The florals are really starting to come through stronger now. Kind of reminding me almost of like a black opium type floral, but not as full on as that. So I guess this might smell a little more tuberosey than the original, possibly, but I can't do a side by side. Yeah, the florals just get, the florals are really gaining momentum. And the biscuity element is gently subsiding. So it's less gourmand, more floral, but definitely still a good balance between the two. It's clean, there's nothing weird, nothing jarring. There's a, almost like a freshness coming from the floral. So far, I really like that. I, I'm, I really can't wait to give it a proper wearing. I might make that my scent of the night, but we, I wanna smell the other one first. So we are gonna open the other one, which is called Sensual Flame. And see what that's all about. Sensual Flame. I haven't even given it a thought as to what it might be. Sensual Flame, what could that be? What out, what out there? I mean, it might not even be a clone. They do make their own original fragrances and so it might not be a clone of anything i'm trying to think sensual flame so flame fire embers could it be sort of by the fireplace could be by the fireplace sort of but they might i feel like they oh i don't know let's just have a smell and see and oh hang on my where's my <laughs> It's got my. <laughs> it's got me on it again. <laughs> what? Is, it's me. So that's a photo of me when in my green jumper back when this wall, before it was plastered, and this wall used to be brick. That's me. <laughs> so um, maybe they just put the photos of the people they're sending it to on there. I don't know. Um, I'll be getting in touch with them after this, I can tell you that. So let's just spray it straight on the skin because if they're gonna put my face on the bottle then I at least should put the fragrance on my skin, right? So we are going straight on my skin, giving it a second and see what we've got here. In the air, it's almost like a Coca-Cola type scent. I'm just letting it settle a little bit though. Hmm. I don't, it's not jumping, nothing's jumping out at me as in that it's reminding me of anything at the moment. In the air it smelt coca cola -y. Up close, it's, it's very smooth. It's kind of like a sweet, spicy scent. I, it doesn't remind me of by the fireplace at all. I don't really get anything smoky. Um, sensual flame. What am I smelling here? It is making me think of things like chewing gum, chewing gum, Coca-Cola. So it feels gourmand, a little spicy, but not like sharp spicy, not like... Um, and I think of things like Dendera, which is a very hot, spicy, very smoked spices. It's nothing like that. Let's think, am I smelling any flowers? Maybe jasmine and rose? Yeah, I think it might be a rose fragrance. It's a creaminess, a cleanliness, not soapy exactly, but creamy, almost lotion-like. A slight green hint actually, so ro the rose flower and the stem. Very creamy, very clean. 
I really don't know if this is supposed to be a clone of something or if it's their original creation. It might be reminding me of something. So it's almost, it's like a, a rose, quite a nice rose with a little bit of green greenery to it, but somehow bubblegummy without being overtly cloyingly sweet bubblegummy. So sometimes tuberose can smell bubblegummy. So does that mean there's tuberose in here? Maybe. It's really nice. It's nice. I don't know if it's supposed to be something or not, but as a standalone fragrance, it's lovely. I can't believe he's got my face on it. So, <laughs> I mean, amazing. I can't believe my face is on perfume bottles. Let's go back and smell Love Whisper. Yeah, this is now, is changing, I'm getting a bit more bite to it, a little bit more muskiness. I think I'm picking up on a little tiny bit of ambroxan, but it's not too much, it's not overtaking anything. It's got, a, there's a very popular DNA at the moment in sort of niche perfumery, and it feels like it has that. Something that I picked up in the Minuet Edemy, and it's in By the Fireplace, I think it's in Delina. It's kind of like a sweet, smoky type element. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'd say it's like, um, and I, it's usually accompanied with ambroxan. So it might be simply a combination of ambroxan and some other elements, sweet something sweet that kind of gives that slightly smoky sweetness. Does it specifically remind me of Rolling in Love? No, because it's been so long and I can't quite remember how it smells, unfortunately. But it's really, it's really nice. It's opening up. It's lost quite a lot of the biscuitiness, which is actually, I, I remember that Rolling in Love has a brief biscuity element to the opening, which goes quite quickly. Um, it's lost a lot of the biscuitiness and it has this uh, musky, musky white floral but with this slightly sweet smoky element as well it's really good so that's love whisper and then oh that's really good sensual flame i might like sensual flame a little bit more you know it's very smooth it doesn't have the smoky element that this does or certainly not at the moment um it's very smooth very creamy yeah and i'm still feeling like bubble bubble gum bubble gum milkshake but understated like not um I wouldn't say this is a fragrance to scent your 13 year old child with. Your 13 year old child would probably really like this, but it doesn't smell juvenile, like, but it does have this sort of like bubblegum milkshake kind of feel. And it's called Sensual Flame, but I don't get smoke from it. It's, it's musky, a little, not soapy, but creamy in that kind of lotion like way but then also creamy in a slightly milkshakey kind of way and it started off smelling to me like a rose on a stem but now it smells more like a maybe like a jasmine like um maybe it started out smelling a bit rosy now it smells more like a, a very smooth jasmine mixed in making up this kind of like bubble gummy type feel i can't wait to look this one up i can't wait to find out what it, what the notes are 
but I really, really enjoy that. And then Love Whisper is really, it's, they're both changing on my skin. So this is very much just a very quick first impressions. I'm gonna come back and review these. I'll probably review them both together in one video because um, there's my face on, it's my face on the bottles. So um, yeah, quite astounded by that. Thank you, Fragrenza, so much for sending those to me and I will be back with more information on those. Thanks for watching, see you in another video.